Hi Libra, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kim. I'm going to be doing a past life reading from the 15th to the 31st of May. And this is one of your past incarnations that's coming through that's affecting this lifetime within that two week period. Now I have picked a card from the past life deck and it tells me that you had problems with finances. So maybe you may have been wealthy back in that lifetime or maybe um, money was scarce back in that lifetime and you had to rely on uh, your environment for shelter and food so in return you done chores for people so you could get shelter and food now it is um, telling me that you were a woman in a past incarnation and that you were very emotional very creative very intuitive now um, I feel that you were of dark skin and of foreign background. Now I've picked a card from the past life, uh, sorry, from the Lenorma deck, uh, and this is the description of what you look like. Now um, you had light coloured eyes, possibly hazel, uh, a bit of a jokester and laughed a lot. So you were always uh, bubbly and uh, playing tricks on people back in that lifetime even though you were emotional inside because you were lonely you have the tower under here Libra but very emotional very ambitious though but you know always pulling putting walls and restrictions up now <clears throat> with the um, past life location where you lived you lived in a city area where it was close to um, a mailbox or where people used to post mail so perhaps you ran this store and you did um, live actually where you worked from. Now, your past life personality comes across as the heart and this is uh, you being very passionate, kind and generous and loving to people. So everyone loved your nature back in that incarnation. And this is quite possible today too. Um, we do bring traits from past lives into this incarnation so with your past life and your current relationship today it's telling you which relationship that you carried forward in this life and it definitely is a soulmate connection with the tree um, this is someone that you've been through many lifetimes with and uh, if you were with this person today um, you're it's been a steady but you know you've probably been together for a long time here now I have picked a card from the romance oracle deck and this is about you having heart-to-heart -heart conversations so you need to tell your feelings and honestly discuss with your partner how you're feeling so if it is to do with finances if you're a coupled in this um, incarnation and you're having money problems today just be open and honest with your partner and tell them how you are feeling now um, your past life purpose is what your soul uh, your soul's purpose was about in your old life and this is about being committed and having strong bonds with your um, with your partner back then and that's possible today um, you've always kept that promise and never broken that chain here now your past life passion what you loved about your old life is the star so I feel like you love looking at the stars and and going under the stars with your partner you know having that passion and um, wishing upon a star following your dreams and you felt like you were star-crossed lovers back then as you are now now your past life death um, how your old life passed away now for a small majority you could have been killed by a fox or a small uh, creature of some kind but um, it can also relate that you died on the job that's quite possible or you were killed by someone who was uh, cunning and forced to your face now that's quite possible back in that incarnation but this is only for a small majority of you Libra and um, your life lesson what you learn from your old life how to control your emotions and 
how to control money situation if you had problems with money. It's strongly coming through again with the finance cards here. <clears throat> now your unresolved issue from your past life is what about what you're worrying about and what your concerns are in this lifetime and you're worried that things are going to repeat themselves or they have already started repeating themselves and this is causing a lot of discord and conflict and ending up in heated discussions so you need to um, just openly and honestly discuss these with your partner without let it, letting the conversation get heated now your present life purpose this is about what you need to accomplish in this lifetime and you need to make some choices and some decisions so you've got some opportunities and some decisions that you are facing and this is what you need to accomplish in this lifetime maybe you found it hard to make decisions back in that lifetime Libra now your advice and the message that your past self has for yourself in this incarnation is to be more at peace with yourself be more sensual and passionate like you were before and don't let the money issues become a problem because it's causing headed arguments and it's not it's not how you normally are with your personality. Now I have pulled a card from the Animal Tarot deck and it is the Ace of Autumn. It's the Calico Cat and we have the coins in this reading as well. So what it's telling me is once you make that decision to have more peace with yourself, um, you can expect a windfall of abundance such as money or someone that's coming in to help you with uh, timely assistance there could be a meeting with somebody or someone might just come through like a financial advisor to give you some advice that type of thing but you may be offered an, a new job too or a promotion or there may be a prospect of a profitable business venture or investment so someone is coming in at the right time for you in the last two weeks of may to help you with this so uh, the universe has seen that you've been struggling again with finances like in your past incarnation you are trying to discuss them with your partner and you're being open and honest but it's causing heated arguments now someone is stepping in and the divine is sending these people to you possibly an older person uh, that's a financial advisor that's going to help you in some way move forward in your finances and there is opportunities of um, possibly a new job coming and it could be your dream job as well so i hope this has been helpful to you libra uh, it is going to play out for the last two weeks of may it is only for a small majority of you viewers um, it could be for one or two of you or ten of you but take it into your situation and see how it plays out for you I thank you for stopping by. Love and blessings to you all. Love you. Bye.